choice is yours to apply for VAWA before any of that happens. So sometimes um, people will, will talk to me about what's happening with the spouse and they will tell me all the red flags. And right off the bat, I can tell them as the attorney, I've seen this before and they have the option to apply for VAWA instead because when they come to me, they will be talking about what, what do they need for their process and then they end up opening up about the spouse, the fact that the spouse isn't cooperating, the spouse is holding their immigration status over their head. And that's why I have to point out to them that you're not going to succeed. This spouse is going to sabotage you, right? Because I know all the warning signs. I know all the red flags. And so when I feel very strongly about this and I'm helping an individual to evaluate their best options possible, where they're going to succeed, this is where I advise them about the VAWA process, that if they're going through this mistreatment where they're being emotionally mistreated, verbally mistreated, manipulated, they're being controlled, they have their, they're being subjected to extreme cruelty when the spouse is holding their immigration status over their heads, I know that this is going to be VAWA and not marriage-based process.